I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. My name is Timothy Profitable and this is Blevoy. If you are new in this channel, you need to subscribe before you continue so that we can be in the same page. Then after that, keep watching and keep commenting and recommend us to your friends as we continue to minister to you through this channel. This is a medium that God has used us on to do a lot more for himself. Let me say that. Now, it's had, it has been a long weekend so far. And today I don't have a specific uh, topic or specific uh, anything to address. I just want to just appreciate the people. I talked to brothers and sisters I talked to in this channel last previous week to prepare to scorn. And um, I've come casually, just casually, to just make a casual comment and a casual analysis on the event. You saw. Now, let me start. Where do I start now? Uh, <laughs> let me start here. Now, the, the glamour of the event of uh, Thanksgiving that was the, this weekend on 3rd and on 4th, it was not just a small thing to me, overflows. You see the, 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 the excitement, the grace that has revived and the things. The Bible speaks so many scriptures and so many clauses. So in this episode, definitely I'll be picking one clause randomly from another, from another. I will incorporate scriptures into just a talk like this. And I believe in the end of this episode, someone will be blessed in one way or another. And I believe God will use me this time around to speak something of a blessing to your life. Now, starting from the wise men. Okay, when we talk about the word wise men, the wise men that came. I know uh, I saw Christopher O.G. I was there. I saw Daniel uh, Weissman. Daniel was there. I saw uh, John Chi Apostle was there. And uh, I know there are some other people that were also there. Well, Racine was not there. And uh, Weissman Harry was not there because, you know, what has happened some few uh, months, uh, a lot of things have really happened in Greek, Greece. Well, there's the, the Thessalonica, <laughs> Squan Thessalonica. Let me use the. The word you see, if I say I speak the word Greek uh, or Greece or uh, something like, it's like we are going back into the Bible times. You know, the days of the old, the New Testament when there was real action during the apostolic age. You know, and I do have a strong feeling that uh, uh, Wiseman Harry is really experiencing those days of the apostolic kind of. Uh, ruthlessness or something within that uh, so maybe most likely that's why he could not come but uh, he sent apologies definitely I know that was one of the men that I do know has a lot to do with squan grace prayer what pray for mama uh, many times I watch his channel and their channel squan Thessalonica and you can see a lot of duplication from Scorn headquarters, and uh, that means there is a generation. And definitely, I don't want to highlight into this this last phase generation of the prophets and the prophetesses, they did not come, and uh, it's not a surprise because definitely they have been waiting for Scorn to collapse. But uh, it's going to the next level and next level and next level. Now, talking about this next level thing, uh, you can see what happens. God has always had a tendency in the, through from Genesis to Revelation in the entire Bible. God has always had a tendency to bring up what people has not seen value in it. What people has not regarded as valuable. Let me say that. And uh, many times people like us, when you see some other places when we were young and nobody saw value in us or so many value in you or so many other value in any other person, one thing you will always know if you stick to God in the end of it all, there will always be a big punch of increase, a big punch of a very big surprise to anybody who had already done the dismissal 
you see the dismissal mission we have god's dismissal uh, mission of uh, those who do not honor god and uh, god dismiss them you see now i look at the excitement in the choir the glimmer the gold <laughs> my friend the gold the the uniform did you see something there no, uh, I, I want all of us to be in the mood of appreciating God, appreciating, you know. Uh, okay, this one, some people so appreciating. It is appreciating God. <laughs> yeah, let, let, let's have it of uh, a celebration for appreciating God. And uh, we know many times when we appreciate God, appreciate God in, in one way or another way, you will realize there is a joy, there is grace, there is potential in doing this. Ah, mommy was so much on point, real on point. See the worship. Ah, ah. you see that man who could dance, 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 dance. And then uh, a winner man song, you know, it brought me somewhere and excitement came in to another level. And I saw something in uh, when they says when they says go marching in go marching in when they says go marching in and I would be just in the chorus to go. I thought we were in heaven already, but uh, we are waiting for the right time. <laughs> Let's give God all the glory where glory is due. Let's have some people make it warm and make it stand in the concepts of everything we are doing. Now, one thing I would really love and I learned a lot in the whole process, I said it even in the previous episodes one year ago, that there is a very big lesson to learn after the departure of the senior prophet T.B. Joshua and uh, left Mama uh, to take over in one form or another. I've learned several lessons, I can tell you that. And uh, I'm also hearing God speak to me to write a book about something to do with the, uh, the eventualities that took place here and there. But I really believe God has set a station that he wants to use every man that does not look like. Now, there is an episode in the Bible. The uh, Bible is full of episodes so far. There is an episode in the Bible where Adonijah was crowning himself in a place and then all of a sudden prophet nathan and the 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 the, 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 the uh, chief admin uh, came in to david when he was bedridden and he say ah uh, live long king you promised your servant that the son solomon will be the king and as at now what we are thinking the the the, the ceremony you hear in the other end is a result of Adonijah now trying to become to be uh, to be crowned Absalom Adonijah so far trying to be uh, crowned the king and then they planned so fast so the king David had to rise up to an occasion and officiate a ceremony concurrent to the other one that the crowning was supposed to be Solomon's kingship it was one vow that they did in fact almost like it was on the altar and the, the covenant was established i tried to backdate these eventualities back and you realize the 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 the, 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 the former disciples were already doing an almost the same scenario like adonijah's kind of whatever it is I can see now the celebration that is there. The latter glory shall be bigger than the former glory. And this is exactly what has happened when you see the glimmer. I've watched this, this, this service online since the other day. Yesterday, I almost took the whole night watching, watching and going through. And I saw that God was speaking and speaking faith in my life. And not just my life, life of anybody, even you who is watching now. I know you have been doing a lot of this. Now, see the flag. Another thing to talk about in this episode. See the flag. You see 
how many international guests and visitors came in. You see, you see, the glory is back in a triple form in Squan. I'm saying this and I know somebody else is like, oh, how much were you paid to be talking about Squan? It's not about the much. It's about the grace that attach people into another height. So I'm talking about the grace. It's a simple thing. The grace that manifests higher and higher and higher and higher every moment. So when I walk into another height in the way I see the grace operate, that is what draws people everywhere. In fact, when you see grace operating in any place, there is always one thing that has an understatement and overstatement at the same moment. That God can make everything beautiful in his own time. A beautiful place. See the overflows. I'm not talking about the number. The grace that could move from the altar to the other place. The people that came in to celebrate the doing of the Lord. 2022 Thanksgiving service was one to remember. To the notch. To the top notch. To the top notch. And then now, this is when I can, you can see there is always that room where everybody has to find something different to do and to highlight. Every moment you get something to be done to a best level of satisfaction, there is always something to do with uh, commitment and uh, devotion and uh, self-sacrifice into the same. Now, the previous oh, disciples, they were strife of who is more powerful. In fact, if you can remember, the, at the previous time, the, the, the former disciples tried to attack Blevoy and attack um, uh, 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 Peace Ark, uh, Pastor Tommy, uh, attack also other people. If you see the bottom line of what they were trying to do, they were coming back with the same thing they were doing when they were in Squan, attacking people to let them have room, do their own things. But then, who is God? God will always have something to do with mighty things that He Himself empower and make glorious. What God empowers makes gloriously, steps in gloriously, and God sets it up gloriously. So today I want us just to appreciate, into the same mood, appreciate what the step and the glory that Squan has gone into, a level that it, it, everything has gone through. See the media team. Oh, my goodness. Look at the people, the support base that God has generated. Leave alone those those support that comes up from different areas. I'm talking about what God has put in place, has gathered together, stitched together, and make it work. It doesn't matter. Weeping sometimes may dure for a night, but joy comes up in the morning. It is a, a very powerful scripture for everybody's life, everybody's ministry, everybody's calling, everybody's activity, business, family, anything. Name it. What I know, even as at now, that we are just smelling what God was plotting to do. And uh, another thing I can talk about is uh, when the dreams and visions people and brothers and sisters in this channel have seen. When we collect all the dreams from different people that have commented and put them round down in this channel, you will still discover that what we are seeing in Squan now is like almost 0.1 percent of what the visions have come now one thing you can't deny whether you are in or you are out any time is that squan is a spiritual ministry it is a, is a is a prophetic ministry and the prophetic ministry means many people will rail and will walk into the prophetic realms into a higher dimension of what is happening on the ground everything now when we come to that point i can assure you Prophetess Evelyn Joshua is a real prophetess. And we should see things that are happening now against the wish and the will 
of all the people that made prophecies look like those prophecies were supposed to be like an emergency response. Now God has given back up to prophetess Evelyn and everything she had seen in the spirit and laid them down right now has already taken it to another level of dimension of thinking and working on. Everything that has stood down and has stood differently into different places, they have set in to be in a dimension that God has settled in for victory. God bless you so much. God increase you. God manifest you. For you who are praying for Squan and Mama Evelyn and all the rest of the people, uh, we thank God that God is doing greater works. It's not just like we are supermen into the level, but you uh, know God has made grace look beautiful at this kind of time. May God increase you and may God glorify himself in your undertakings. I'm Timothy Profitable and this is Blevoy. We handle your spirituality, economic and social matters. See you in the next episodes that are coming.